Will there ever be a pill to reverse dementia or Alzheimer's? You see, five years ago, my aunt died from complications of Alzheimer's, and now my mom has it. In fact, that is what started my journey in starting Simple Smart Science to help people from ever getting it. Hi, I'm Julia Lundstrom, your neuroscience and brain health educator. Subscribe now to get 10 minute memory hacks weekly. Me, the family and caretakers and 25 other million people worldwide ask, is there ever going to be a pill or a drug that will reverse Alzheimer's and dementia? This month, we thought there was hope with the FDA approval of a new drug called Laquimbi. This is a drug that's supposed to be for people that have Alzheimer's, but the label suggested use is for people with mild cognitive impairment or very early Alzheimer's disease. It's believed to work by reducing the deposits of beta amyloid plaques that some experts believe play a casual role in Alzheimer's. Many other experts believe that those plaques are your brain's natural defense against the oncoming disease. That's only one piece of the controversy around this new drug. Nobel laureate Dr. Tom Thomas C. Sudhoff, a professor of molecular and cellular physiology at Stanford Medicine, thinks that the focus on finding a drug to stop the disease without first understanding better the processes that cause Alzheimer's has set back progress. The science of Alzheimer's disease vastly overfocused for decades on amyloid. Instead of really looking at the basic fundamental biology, they just looked at more clinically oriented work, he says. As a result, not much has come of this. With Laquimbi being suggested for only mild cases out of the 6 million Alzheimer's cases in the US alone, it is expected that it can only help 1.4 million people. That's only 20% of all cases. And with a price tag of $26,500 a year, I doubt even those 20% will be able to do it. And it's not an easy drug to take. Patients have to do it intravenously twice a month. So they have to go to infusion center just like dialysis patients. And it takes a long time to show any effects. If it does show effects, some early clinical trials show no benefit after a year. Most trials were 18 months and it may not work even at that. At best, Laquimbi might slightly slow a patient's inevitable decline for a few months. As Dr. C. Peterson, director of the Mayo Clinic Alzheimer's Disease Research Center said, it was a modest clinical response. It didn't stop the disease and it didn't make anyone better. Not that it was supposed to. The drug slowed cognitive decline among patients by 0.45 points on an 18 point scale. That's less than a one point improvement improvement in judgment, memory, ability to care for others, and other measures. And that's a slowing of deterioration, not a reversal. Then comes the side effects. They only did a phase two trial with 161 patients and a full 20 of those got brain swelling or brain bleeds. In the phase three, over 17% of the patients got brain swelling or brain bleeds. And then there's the question of the expedited approval process. Many experts believe that Laquembi was approved without sufficient evidence to back it up. Now healthcare providers are hesitant to prescribe the drug to their patients due to the concerns about the efficacy and potential side effects. I would be too. This is not something I will even consider for my mom. So why is this search so hard? Why has the search for a memory loss reversal drug been ongoing for years and researchers have yet to find a breakthrough treatment? With one in three people over 85 getting dementia, there is an urgent need for new treatments that can help them improve their cognitive function. Well, a single pill for dementia or Alzheimer's seems highly unlikely. And that's because dementia is not caused by just one single factor. It can result from a combination of genetic and environmental factors, as well as lifestyle choices, making it difficult to target one with one medication. And the damage takes decades to build up and can start decades before any symptoms show up when it is too late to do anything about it. 
Another major obstacle to the development of a dementia drug is the complexity of the brain, which means that targeting specific areas can be difficult and even dangerous. And many treatments may only work for certain types of dementia, such as Alzheimer's disease, leaving other types of dementia completely untreated. Despite these obstacles, researchers continue to search for a potential treatment for dementia, and the hope remains that one day a drug may be discovered that can help people living with this terrible disease. Again, that seems very unlikely that there'll ever be an effective drug to treat dementia. And then walks in neuroscientist Dr. Dale Bredesen. He's developed a novel approach to treating dementia through lifestyle changes that he he refers to as neurodegeneration reversal or brain regeneration. This program involves making changes in diet and exercise, sleep, stress management, hormone balance, and other lifestyle factors that can help to reverse the cognitive decline associated with dementia. The Bredesen Protocol is what it's called, and it's been so successful in helping many, many cases, leading to dramatic improvements in cognitive function and even reversal of the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. The approach is based on the idea that making targeted lifestyle changes, it is possible to improve overall brain health and restore connections between neurons. The Bredesen Protocol is a promising approach to dementia treatment that does not involve the use of drugs. It is non-invasive and has shown positive results in many cases, making it an attractive alternative to drug therapy. This program emphasizes the importance of including lifestyle changes as part of any comprehensive plan for treating dementia, something that's really just overlooked by traditional medicine and drug companies. And here at Simple Smart Science, we take it it 10 steps further. We're on the flip side of the work that Dr. Bredesen is doing as we help prevent it from ever coming on in the first place. Our vision is to cut the amount of dementia cases in half by the year 2050. And that starts with making a measurable improvement in people's brain health today. After all, if the damage starts decades before the symptoms show, the time to start addressing poor lifestyle choices and environmental changes is, well, now, as early as possible. Through educating people with our 10 pillars of brain health, we do exactly that, all with scientifically proven methods to help prevent memory loss. And our side effects? You get an average of 19% better memory, 27% happier mood, and 15% better energy. If you wanna find out which of your lifestyle habits are potentially leading you down the wrong path, book a free call with one of our memory assessors. They'll listen to whatever's going on in your life, what you're currently doing, and make recommendations on what to do next to get to what we like to call your brain health roadmap. So just click on the link below to learn more and book your free call today. Thank you.